What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So in this video, we're going to talk about using drone footage with PhotoMatch in order to create a building in SketchUp. Um, before I get started, um, this video is brought to you by the Mindsight Studios Winter Sale. So uh, Mindsight Studios is the group that brings you extensions like Placemaker and Artisan and Profile Builder. So uh, all, all of those extensions are 25% off for the rest of the week, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you check out the link link at the sketchupessentials.com slash mindsight. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. What's up guys, Justin here from the SketchUp Essentials. So I've been talking about this for a while. Um, so this is the video where I'm gonna try to start um, generating the footage to see if we can do photo match from a drone. And so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly the drone around the house and my goal is to take the drone and just take video and see if we can pull stills from the video and then do a photo match from that. So uh, I'll kind of try to walk you through what I'm doing. I should be able to record the screen on my iPhone so you can see what I see there. But basically the idea is we're just gonna kind of fly the drone sideways around the house and see if we can use a see if we can use a video in order to do this. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so basically what I've done is I've gone in and I've exported a couple still images out of this model, um, or out of the uh, out of the drone footage, um, and these are basically image files. So uh, most video editors can take um, a video, any given point from a video, and export it as an image. You could also do like a uh, you could do like a snipping tool type thing and take your image that way as well. But what I've done is I've exported a couple different images. And in this case, just for the sake of speed, I'm probably going to use this one. Um, and I'm going to go very high level with this. Um, so the idea is you've basically taken this image out of your model and you want to model from this using photo match. And so I'm probably just going to do it from this image because this got the best um, perspective lines and so one thing to note when you're taking pictures from a drone or anything else is uh, you need to be careful of your perspective lines because what photo match does best is if you have these very clear perspective lines that kind of run off to a vanishing point and I'll link to another video about photo match in the notes down below but you want that to be really clear so that SketchUp can do a better job of basically um, setting up your axes, that sort of thing. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this image and we're going to bring it into SketchUp. And so to do that, we're going to use the Match Photo option in your tray. And so if you don't see that, you want to go to Window, Default Tray, and check the box for Match Photo. That'll pop up this image over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the little plus button for New Matched Photo. And um, in this case, I'm going to use my Image 2 that I exported um, in order to bring this in. And I left my default model in here for a reason. We can talk about that in just a minute. But um, for those of you that have used Photo Match before, you'll probably remember that the way you set this up is you want to take these lines and you want to align them along your perspective lines. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this point and I'm going to run it along this gutter.
along here and make sure you zoom in to make sure you're kind of along the right lines and I could have also exported a higher resolution photo out of my video editor in this case I just wanted to give you kind of an example of what we can do here but then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna run this along the bottom of this base so you can see how my green axis is aligned with my photo well now we want to do the same thing with the red axis so in this case I'm gonna take this red piece and I'm gonna align it along this trim and then I'll take this other red piece and align it along this bottom trim piece right in here. And so what that's done is that's allowed me to kind of set my, my axes properly. And generally you want these to go as long as possible. Um, you like to have these long runs for your perspective. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my... Um, I'm going to set my origin point right here on the corner. And that's just basically where all your axes um, intersect with each other. And you can see the reason I left my default model in here is for scale. Because you can see right now, because this image is in here to scale. And so you can see how it would be way too tall. Well, what you can do is you can click this blue line. And you can move this down until your scale looks more appropriate. So in this case, you can see I have the image of me, and then I'm using this door for scale just to get close. You could do a more specific scaling thing later. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click the Done button. And what that does is that basically gives you your model um, aligned or with the axes aligned with the photo. And you can see how when I rotated out of that, my photo went away. But um, when I click the Done button, what this did is this popped up a tab um, that allows me to go back to my match photo. And now when I come in here and I want to draw my model, you can see how all I have to do is draw on the axes. So in this case, I can just draw a line along this red axis. And now I can either hide or erase out my default model. But you can see how everything is now set up where all you have to do is draw along these axis lines in order to create your model. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to take this all the way from start to finish. Um, probably I'll just draw these first couple faces just to give you an idea. And so you can see if I rotate out of this, I've got these two faces that I drew here. And I'm going to go ahead and reverse those faces just so the proper face is facing out. But you can see how I can kind of use the inferencing from these points in order to keep drawing on this. And everything may not be exactly perfect. A photo match is definitely not perfect, but um, it's definitely it's definitely something that's very helpful. And so what I could do in this case um, is I could draw basically a lineup for my roof. And I'll just make copies of those to each point so that everything will have the same height. And then I could draw a line in here race this out and I could push pull this out a little bit so it kind of matches up with my image not necessarily perfectly um, I wouldn't necessarily say that photo match is the best tool for doing scale modeling but it allows you to come in here really fast and just kind of model out your building and get the general shape and then apply textures to it so you can see I can push that back to the back side and so once you've done this, and again, I realize this stayed kind of high level, but once you've done this, what you can do is you can take these textures and you can actually apply them to these faces. So you have an option over here for project textures from photo. And so what you do is you draw in your geometry just like this, and then you select a face and you click the option for project textures from photo. And it asks if you want to trim partially visible faces. Generally I say yes to this one. Um, basically what that does is that just trims everything that it can't see. Um, that's kind of a preference thing. But basically every face that you select it'll project the textures from your photo. And so it kind of did the same thing right here. And you can see how you get a little bit of distortion in here. And uh, 
So there's a couple different things you could do about that. But in this case, probably what I should have done anyway is extended this out a little bit more. So that'll probably hide a lot of that anyway. And so what this is good for is this isn't necessarily good for like super highly detailed models, but what it is good for is coming in here and creating shapes really fast and, um, and applying textures to them. But then what you can do is you can also, once you've kind of generalized your photo match textures, you can bring in another image um, if you want to add like more detail. So if you have like a close up, you can do an import as texture so you get a file, import, select a little button for texture. In this case, I'm going to select this image three, and I'm just going to place it on this face somewhere, and then we're going to move it around. And so what SketchUp will allow you to do is you can right click in here, and you can use the options for position texture. So you can right click on your texture once you've imported it, and you can click position. And there's two different options. There's an option for fixed pins and there's an option to uncheck fix pins, and that's kind of what I do, um, or what I'm gonna do in this case. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that push pin to this corner, and I'll click and drag it to this corner, and then I'll do the same thing for this corner, and drop that right here, and you can basically use these push pins to kind of position everything the way that you want. So if you wanna bring in like another image, And I'm going to undo probably actually the point that you want is this one. And then this bottom point, you can pull it down here. So you can bring in another texture image for different parts of your model if you want in order to kind of place everything. And so then I would take this corner point and I would put it more up here and then I'd click done. And so you can see how you can also bring in other images from other places. So if you didn't like the first one, um, you could bring in a different texture image for that part of your model. So this is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna wrap it up for right now. Basically, you just keep following these steps in order to model the rest of your building. Um, in a future video, I'm gonna talk about using multiple photos from Photo Match. So uh, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Was this interesting to you? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.